welcome to the All Canadian Reptile Girl with me, Annalise. Today we will be building a new enclosure for Noodles, one of our lovable corn snakes. Because we'll need a bit of room to see everything that we're doing, you'll see that we broke out our green screen. Mostly because we didn't want to do a bunch of rearranging of stuff that's normally off camera, but also so we could try out some cool new backgrounds. Like a mountaintop. No? How about outer space? Uh. Oh, I know! A spooky graveyard? No? Uh, jungle. Forest? <gasps> the office. Hmm. As much as I love the office, I don't think I would want to work there. Let's go with something a little bit more familiar, like 90s comedy club. Perfect. Looks just like home, except that's better. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, Noodles came with this enclosure when we got her. It's got everything she needs and does the job. But if you've seen our other tanks, then you know that we prefer to have our enclosures be as close to the reptile's actual environment as possible. So, now that she's done her time in quarantine, and then some, it's time for her to have a brand new home. Now, we're not just building a regular old bioactive enclosure. I mean, it will be bioactive, but it is also going to include a built-in backing with shelves and wood and other stuff too. Kind of like what we did for my garters, here. Except, we will actually be filming it this time as we go. So, you can see what we're doing, and if you like it, you can do something similar yourself. This project is going to take a couple weeks from start to finish. So get comfy, you're going to be here a while. Of course I'm kidding. Thanks to the magic of editing, my weeks of effort will be compressed into a few short minutes of captivating YouTubery. Step one is clearing out her new tank. This was actually everybody's best buddy Monty's original tank, and has been used as a quarantine tank for Hobbs our Macklets Python and Tassara our Dunros Boa. We are going to clear out the substrate and the drainage layer, but that's boring. So we are just going to jump to when that's done. See you in a minute! There we go, all cleaned out. We've got under tank heating on this tank, which is great for corn snakes. The challenge with under tank heating on a bioactive enclosure though, is that it only really heats the drainage layer. Basically, there is so much air in the drainage layer that the heat just warms that up and it can't get through to the substrate and to the snake. To get around this, we've cut a hole in the ground cloth around the heating pad and secured it by taping it. This way, the bio balls and gravel that make up the drainage layer won't be over top of it and the heat can get up to the snake. We will be putting this background decoration into the tank. We made this out of a panel of styrofoam insulation. We used the wood burning tool with a modified wire tip to cut and carve it out. It took a bit of time to put this all together but I think I like how it turned out. You can make it even less detailed or more detailed. Really, as long as your snake gets a little bit of enrichment out of it and feels safe, it won't really matter. It's just about what you think would look cool for a tank build. So we've got the back built, but it doesn't quite look like ruins yet. We are going to need to prime and paint it. Now, unless you get primer specifically for foam, this is going to melt your styrofoam. I'm melting! Melting! Oh, what a world, what a world! For what we are going to do, a little melting will actually help give it a rocky, rough texture. But if we over melt it, then we're going to lose all this detail and it would also make it harder for the paint to cure. To make sure we do not over melt it, we are going to be applying the primer in very light coats. Once that cures, we will be applying this stone texture spray paint. And then after that, we will put on a matte clear coat finish. I was hoping to do all of this outside today, but it's mid-April. 
in southwestern Ontario. So, of course, that means even though it was 16 degrees and sunny two days ago, there's snow on the ground today. And it is too cold to spray paint. It's going to warm up tomorrow though, so as long as it's not raining, I can probably and hopefully do it then. We'll see you when the next bit is done. Although at this rate, it's probably going to be in July. I think it turned out really well and I'm really liking how it's looking. Now for the decorating. We will be using brown silicone to glue on bits of moss and other stuff and of course some dirt to the ruins to make it look all ancient and overgrown. You just apply the caulking, put on your stuff and then just use a little bit of dirt to cover up the glossy caulking. Here we go. Less is more, so you really want to be subtle with the decoration. Oh, oh, oh my. It seems like I may have gone a little bit overboard with that. Don't worry though, not all of this is actually stuck to the silk. That's better. I think that this looks great and is ready to go in. All right, so here's the plan. This is going to be covering the whole entire back and one side of the enclosure. We will be securing it with spray foam and sealing it all the way around that way noodles cannot slide in behind and we can't get her. Then we will be building up the sides to make it look like the ruins were built out of a mountain or hill. We don't want all this stuff sliding out while we're working. So as you can see, we have tipped this onto its back so that we can install this stuff. Okay, that was messy. Might have been a little less messy for my poor hands if I had actually been wearing gloves consistently, but anyways, we will let this cure and then we'll come back tomorrow and trim it down. Then we will be doing something similar to what we did with the styrofoam and cover all the spray foam stuff with silicone and dirt. Trust me, it may look a little messy and gross and not good now, but it will look amazing when it's done. <laughs> All right, now if you would excuse me, that was exhausting and I'm white, so I'm gonna go watch an episode of The Office. Okay, so as you can see, everything is covered and we've cleaned up the little bits of dirt and stuff. Everything is set in place, but we're probably gonna have to let this cure for about a week, that way all the fumes can dissipate. While we wait for this to cure, let's do the lights. We've got these LED strips to provide lighting for our plants. Because we will have plants in here, we want to make sure that the light will be on the daylight spectrum that is good for plant growth, which is at least 5000K. I will put a link for these LEDs in the description below. Installing them is pretty easy too. They've got this adhesive back that you just zip along the edge just low enough that the lid can clear it. Then you plug the lights into the dimmer, the dimmer into the power supply. That's, that's quite bright. Just see, easy peasy. Let's actually put them in now.
they're in. So, like I said, let's plug the dimmer into the lights and the dimmer into the power supply. Ta-da! Okay, we need to really dim that down though. Don't they look nice? Okay, so it's been about a week and all the fumes have dissipated. Now to the bioactive bit. If you've seen my other tank builds like Monty or Arthur Morgan, then you already know the drill. We have the drainage layer, the ground cloth, which is already taped around the heating mat, and then, of course, there's the soil, which is a mix of black earth, tropical soil, some sphagnum moss, and some dried up, crunched up leaves, and old snake sheds as food for the cleanup crew, which you will meet later. Hmm. I think we're actually going to move this to the ground because it'll be so much easier to put things in there and film it. So, see you on the ground! Dirt's all in, now for plants! coconut husk. The soil holds in a lot of the moisture. This extra layer helps keep that moisture in and it also lets noodles get up off of the damp soil and helps prevent scale rot. Now let's add some friends for cleanup. With bedding you need to spot clean your snake's poop and change out the bedding completely about once a month or so. With a bioactive enclosure you can't really do that. You still need to take out your snake's waste, but there will still be traces that will get absorbed into the soil. This is why you need a cleanup crew to break up those traces of waste and keep your tank clean and your snake healthy. The springtails will burrow into the soil and the isopods will either stay just at or just below the surface of the soil. Let's put them in there. Great, she's done some exploring and she's hidden a few places, which she will probably continue to do for a few days while she settles in. Of course, after that, then we will start thinking about handling her, but until then, we're just gonna leave her alone. She was perfectly happy in her old enclosure, but she didn't really know what she was missing. I think that once she settles in here, she is going to absolutely love it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching me, the All Canadian Reptile Girl, and of course, Noodles. I hope you enjoyed joining me for the last month of building Noodles' enclosure. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it, and if you've even tried one yourself. Please don't forget to check out my other videos and my Instagram, and as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and remember, nurture all nature. See you next time! Bye! We have got these LED stripes, stripes, well we've got these LED stripes, I get caught on the strips and I say stripes.
Let's do the lights. We've got these LED strips. I did it. And then I forgot my lines. <laughs> <laughs> I got you back. Oh, you have a giant boon right beside you. Uh, oh no, this is. No! <laughs> I think I touched my mic. All right. <clears throat> I think it turned out really well. See you next time. Bye. I'm going to do that again because I was waving off the screen. See you next time. Bye. Dimmer. I know I was going to do that. And <laughs> catastrophe over here. I just, this is kind of a hard subject to make exciting. Lights! Oh, yay! Clean up crew. I completely did that wrong. I think I made it better. I think I did. I did. I did. I really did. I did.